Welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping people make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they will take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to live and find a perfect balance in diet and exercise that suits our individual needs. I want to help you find your exercise mojo, feel great and achieve wonderful things. Here is Elliot's PT Podcast by Renee Elliott. Hello, hello, and welcome back. So today I want to talk about what does cherishing your body or loving your body actually mean? So I cannot force anybody to love their body. My goal is not for you to be forced to feel a certain way. My goal would be that you begin to start to understand your body more. You understand where maybe you have different thought patterns, where they have come from. And that you can get to a point of body acceptance. And if there is anything more comes from that, then that is amazing. But I think our goal should be about learning to accept our body for how it is or where it is and then learn to move on from there. I don't know if everybody, you know, like there's this whole thing about loving your body. And I agree. I think we all should love our body. But I also understand that there's times that People have bad days and they maybe don't feel so good. Hopefully in time, these not so good days don't uh, last as long. Maybe when they happen, you might have a different understanding as to why you might feel that way. But, but I just hope that everybody can come to a point of body acceptance. And I really feel that when we start to accept our body and we take this pressure off of having to look or be a certain way, that a lot of other things start to really, really fall into play. The big thing is, you know, and, and you will see throughout the program that, that, that there's things that we've been fed. And we, don't, we didn't even realize it. We didn't even realize that we've been fed all these things. We've started to have these different thinking, thinking patterns of things that we didn't even, we didn't even realize that was being put in front of us. And uh, some of those things are not necessarily true. So I really like to put a focus for my body on how I feel. For me, how I feel is more important than my size. I exercise and I eat well and I do all these things coming from a place of how my body feels, not from coming from a place of wanting to, to be a certain size, to be thinner, or any of those things. Uh, how I feel is, is I value that so much more higher. We've just been back, we've been away, we were away on a cruise a couple of weeks ago now, and it was really, really interesting because you're on this ship, so you're, you're kind of like in this, you know, there's 2,000 people that are with you for the whole time. So you tend to see the similar people. And it was interesting. It was uh, we, it was quite warm and humid where we'd been. You know, it was really interesting. And I was, you know, I was pondering a lot about uh, body acceptance and loving your body and what that means or cherishing your body, all of those things. I was pondering a lot of that stuff while I was while I was on the cruise ship. And in on the cruise ship, it was interesting to to see people and to see, you know, like certain people how they how they acted or, you know, how they didn't and and you know, you spent a lot of day around the pool. So around the pool, so people were in their bathers. So lots of their body is exposed. And it was really interesting to see there's all different shapes and sizes. But there's things that our bodies have that we all have regardless of what size you are and I think people tend to focus on oh I have these flabby arms or I, I hate that I have a cellulite you know I think there's things that are that we all have it's just part of being female you know I, I, you know and and I noticed people of all different sizes that you know had cellulite on their legs or any uh, on their bums or any of those things from being a, a size a, a small petite person to to a large person, it, it's, you know, there's these things that I think we're focusing our attention on certain things like that. And I think regardless of what size you are, you, you, you might still have those types of things. Really important to understand the fact of what the industry does now, you know, with magazines and social media and what they do with touching up and 
and all of that it is it is shocking and and the new stuff that is coming out is all this ai stuff and somebody he was telling me about it months ago and he had an app and the app was you would put words into the app, say, oh, I would like a person that's, you know, a female that goes to the gym, that's a mum of four kids, that works out, you know, like, and you could tell the person, you could tell this app what photo of a person you'd like to create and the photo would come through and it looks, it was looked like a, it looked like a real photo. He did a photo of a, um, he asked for like chiseled man in the snow and this photo of this person came through and, and you thought, you thought you would think that it's you know that it's real that's that's how how it looks so it's really misleading that we we are seeing all this stuff and and you see, there's different posts of people like you know that you see them photoshopping them fo their photos or they you know and and what's scarier is these even younger kids uh these days with filters and and what they're putting on their you know they won't post my niece said she won't post a photo without a filter and i was like I don't even know how to do that stuff. It's just not relevant to me and it's not in my era. What I want you to understand is that so many more things are becoming unrealistic and it's giving us this false sense of how we should look or how we should feel and it's and it's really not true. But like I said, I, I personally uh, put a focus on how I feel and that's where my main motivation for exercising, for the food that I eat, it's all valued on how I feel. Moving well. So I want to move well because I want to feel good. And when I move well, you know, uh, so moving, being able to move well, it gives me freedom. It gives me the ability to do the things that I want to do. It gives me longevity, uh, the ability to be pain-free and to lead a good quality life as we age. So that's my motivation for, for exercising, for moving well, for those types of things. Instead of focusing on uh, being a certain size, being a certain size and thinking that we have to diet because I want my body to look a certain way. Instead of focusing on that, you know, I might have a bit of fat here. So my focus is about, well, you know, how well does my shoulder move? Because to, to me, that's more, that's more important. So by not moving well, you know, you're going to be left out of doing the things that you want to do. For me, it's important to do things with family and maybe your kids do things and you can't do it because you can't move well or you can't keep up with them. You know, you're living a bit of, you're being restricted by your movement and that you can't move. And you'll be living, you know, you can be in pain because, because you're not moving. Those things are really important to me. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to be in pain. I don't want to be left out from my family. So that's why, that's my motivation for moving well. That's my motivation for eating well. That's my motivation for uh, loving, for loving my body. I see, I see so many women, you know, and it, it really breaks my heart of women that, that hate their bodies and they spend their time focusing on, on this one little aspect of their body. And and you know the thing is that they, 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 a lot of it's come from someone else. That's that's their problem, not not yours. And we we spend this time hating hating our bodies and not not scared to and too scared to go to the beach or do the things we want to do. When you're you're living a life, you are then living a life of restriction. So you know on your tombs, Renee Elliott, she was a size ten. Renee Elliott, she was a size sixteen. N none of that. She weighed this many kilos. None of that stuff is going to be on there. None of that. Your kid, your kids don't care what size you are. They care that you spend time with them. They care that you go kids, your grandkids. They care that you do things with them. They don't care that you um you know that if you have some cellulite on your legs they don't care if you uh don't flabby arms or whatever size is on your clothes they, they, that stuff doesn't bother with them what bothers them is that if you spend the time with them you can do the things that you want to do with them like riding a bike running after them that's to me that's what's important and and uh, this is what i hope that we can get to this point of body acceptance where where we accept this this is this is where I'm at now. This is my body and I'm going to, to appreciate it. I'm going to appreciate it for how it moves and, you know, and, and that it gets me through through the day. Because, you know, when, when I ask people about how they feel and how their bodies are, what happens is that you, you'll get, depending on what the people's experience is, is what the answer you'll get. So somebody that has been maybe been sick and uh they've maybe been sick and they've maybe not been able to do things they they will they will start to have a different level of appreciation for their body for someone that has never been through any of those things they they don't they don't have that they won't have that appreciation because they haven't gone through that experience uh you know from from having kids to 
to bef before I had kids to after I have kids, I appreciate my body in a whole different way. I appreciate it in a different way because I had that experience. What I'm asking you guys is don't wait to have those experiences before we start to appreciate our bodies and appreciate for, for where we're at and what it is. You know, don't don't have to go through those those maybe hard times or any of those things to start going, actually, my body's pretty good. You know, and, and, and let's just start to appreciate it and just, just come to a level of, of acceptance, of acceptance that this, this is the body. This is what, this is all of, this is the one body I've got. I'm going to treat it as well as I can. I'm going to fuel it because I want to have energy. I want to feel good. I'm not going to restrict myself on food. I'm not going to beat it up or over exercise or any of those things because because I want to look a certain way. Um, I'm going to appreciate it because because this this is what I have and this is where it is. And there's this this, this body um, body acceptance and it's always to think wherever you are now, I can guarantee you there is somebody else that is looking at you and wants to be your size. There's somebody that looks at you and thinks that you look beautiful, that you are stunning, and they would do anything to look the same way that you do. As much as you might not feel that way about yourself, I can guarantee you there would be somebody that would look at you and you would be their ideal weight. You would be their ideal shape or size, you know, because we're all different. But, but what about instead of spending this time hating the size that we are, hating these things, let's just accept it. And, and this is who we are. A huge part of our, of our body is, there's, there's genetics plays a huge part. You know, genetics uh, alters the, the color, what color your eyes are, what color your, um, you know, I've got these high cheekbones. My kids tease me about them. They say, how come you've got these? But they're in my, they're, for me, that's part of my family. And I can't change that. I can't change. Well, I guess I could if I, you know, went and had surgery. But I, I, that's that's something that part of my family. When I lived in the UK, I was walking down the street. So I went and I stayed. So my family's from the UK. When I first went over, I went um, to live in the town that uh, my grandparents were from. And uh, I stayed with some cousins of mine, which they're amazing but i was walking down the street and it's a small town so people had to talk to each other and i was walking down the street and someone came up to me and they said to me you're a healy and i was like hmm? and healy is my papa's name and they they knew that i was a healy from my cheekbones so yeah so anyway. but that's yeah so that's this this i can't this is part of my body the length of your legs you know those those things you can't change that there are certain things that we are just born with and that that's that's who we are and that's our mom and our dad that just makes us who we are the, the height you can you know the height that you are they're those things that that we can't we can't change genetics play a part in that there is a part of and and this is what i'm talking about coming to this level of acceptance i understand that in my family we tend to be people that put weight on very easily. So I'm not somebody that can eat whatever I want. You know, I'm somebody that has to be very aware or, uh, you know, I'm aware of because because I, I have uh, family members that are that are overweight. We, that is, and I've known from my previous, we am someone that puts on, that can put on weight easily. That's just an understanding of my circumstance and my body. I'm not somebody, you know, like I've, there's some people that they might get stressed and they might, you know, my, my friend went through a rough time and when she gets stressed, she lost, she lost weight. Uh, that's, that's not something that happens in my life. Uh, you know, my body's different. Uh, I was always told, I don't know if you were told the same when they're having babies, but everyone said to me, oh, breastfeed and you'll lose lots of weight. That's not what happens for my body. And then it's a, there's an acceptance and understanding of that's what hap that's how my body works. And uh, I don't focus on that, but I, but I have an understanding. And that's why I'm asking you this. There's things our body does that is totally out of your control. There's things that come from genetics. There's things that you can't change. So let's stop focusing on being like somebody else, focusing, focusing on all of those things instead of fo focus on how you feel and what makes you feel good, what makes your body feel good. And just come to this place of acceptance that, that our body is actually quite amazing. You know, it's amazing for, for the things that's done.
and it just to stop focusing on being this certain size because lots of times that people uh they might have a weight loss goal and they get to this certain size and they realize that they're not happy that being that size isn't giving them the the joy that that they thought it would you know and and i think that focusing on just just putting our focus all on that is not a great way to live you know and we really want to uh you know it's important to think of things like what what actually does bring you joy you know what 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 do you want to get out of life and for for me you know like it's looking at for me how i feel is so so important and and how i feel and my energy levels and being there for my kids and and being able to do things with them my, my one of my goals is that i want to be strong enough that i can always pick my kids up no matter how big or how old they get i want to always be able to still lift them up and and that's that's just a little thing that i've always said to myself that's what i want to do you know like i said my my focus is on how my body moves i want to i want to be able to move well i want to be an older person that can get up and down off the ground that can run around that can still i don't want to be an older person that feels so weak and uh you know and can't do things and can't move can't can't lift my arm above my head or or can't get up and down off the seat yeah you know, that's that's not what i want to do so so that's why my focus is on movement and moving well and my energy levels and again that's just me you don't have to be the same as me but i just want you to think about what do you actually want and what does being a certain way what will that give you see i see so many people focusing on uh you know focusing on being a small you know focusing on their weight trained lots of different people of uh different aspects of their life or different you know and i've trained people with eating disorders just from my experiences you know that th these people can't do things because they're not eating enough food and let's not go into the, what the eating disorder i'm just using that as an example the, the people that eat the less food little try to eat little food because there's this weight they want to weigh a certain weight or whatever else they, then their energy is missing out which then means that they can't do certain things they can't do certain activities they feel tired uh you know they might get injured because because they're not fueling their body for, for what it needs to survive if that's what you if that's what you are wanting in life then then that's fine that's the exact opposite of what i want in life and that's why fueling my body correctly is really really important why i'm making sure that i'm setting a good uh, example for my children that's what's important to me uh, because I, I want to set a good example for my children because I want to keep up with them because I want to run around and do all those things because of all of those things focusing on on being a size small or a smaller size or whatever shape it's just not important to me it's not important to me and it's not it's not giving me my why it's not giving me that joy and and what I want you to think about is the life that you're leading if we are focusing on a size, if we're focusing on losing weight, what is that giving you? So if you're, you're is, is it giving you a life that you want to lead? So is it giving you joy? Are you able to do the things that you want to do? Uh, Socialise, you know, is, is it giving you those things you want to do? Or is it stopping you from doing those things? And maybe just coming to this point of acceptance, body acceptance, is where we could, we could just get to that point. And to stop focusing on focusing on a size, or what that scale says. Instead of focusing on all things, we could just focus on um, accepting our bodies, accepting our bodies for where it is. Understand that that there are parts of our body that we can't change because you know there's genetic things that that is part of your body. You know, I, I, there's a thing to do with your hip size. You know, your hip. And how how your hips are, you know, where people for a while those people was going on about a thigh gap. You know, that, there's some things that you can't you can't change. Uh, you know, some people hold their fat on their arms. Some people hold their fats around their bums and their thighs. Again, that that some of that stuff is just genetic factors that you can't change. So accepting that this the body that you've been given, these are the the genetics that you have. And, and you can look at things and, you know, if you have a similar shape to your mom or if your parents, your mom or your dad, or look at aunties or uncles or, you know, grandparents, look at them and think, oh, okay, I've got, I'm more like this auntie or I'm more like that. You know, understand that stuff and come to a level of acceptance, acceptance of it, that this, this is where you're at and be proud of it. We're all 
we're all different. We all are who we are. But the other thing is that we spend all this time focusing on being a size or being a certain weight. You know, nobody knows that but you. Nobody sees your clothes tag. Nobody sees your what you wear on the scales unless you show them. So, so you're the only one that sees that. So we're putting this focus on this thing for, for something else that nobody else is, is going to see. What people will see is they'll see, uh, you know, if you see, if you think about people and think about somebody that's happy or, you know, that I, you know, that radiates through the happiness or the, the energy of that, that radiates through. Not that, oh God, she's, you know, that's that the happiness radiates to me and joy and laughter that radiates to me so much more than what size somebody is. And, you know, the thing is that we're, we're putting our value on something that society has told us how we should look. You know, but society aren't living our lives. So they're not the ones that if, let's say that we're living in a way of restriction, they're not the ones that, that, that have the lack of energy because we've not eaten enough food. They're not the ones that uh, can't sleep, you know, because they've, um, you know, they're, they're feeling that bad about themselves or because they've overeaten or because they've undereaten or, you know, because they're stressed out. But they're not the ones that have to live that life. They don't live that life you do. So, so come, from, come from accepting your body and living your life from, from you, from your point of view, from where, from where you're at not from where someone else is at. And my, my biggest thing is just think about what you want. My, my why is I want to lead a good quality life. I want to be able to be fit and healthy. So whatever life throws at me, I believe that the fitter and the stronger that I am, I'll be able to conquer any of those things a, a lot better. So th that's my why. That's my why I want to... Um, age well and live as long as possible. So that is my main motivator in life. That is why I do everything that I do. I don't live from a place of focusing on my size. I have experienced lots of women that have done and I'm never gonna say that I haven't been unhappy with my body shape before. Of course I have. And I think any, I think we all have. I think we all go through phases, uh, but but my, my main focus now and, and I hope that by understanding your body better, understanding where everything comes from, you can you can come to this level of acceptance, acceptance of this is where we are at, and this is this is where we are are at, and this is you know, and when we we begin to accept and love our body for where it's at, for you know, for what it can do for us, everything else just seems to fall into place a lot easier. And you know, let's focus on how it moves, and you know that you can, you know, and. My biggest thing is I, I look at my gran, you know, who's in her 80s, and over the last couple of months, she, her health has deteriorated, but her mobility has gone, you know, and, and because that mobility is gone, she can't, she can't do the things she wants to do. And, you know, I, and because of my main why, I want to lead this good quality life. I, I, want to, I want to love and accept my body so that I can be the best version of myself, so that I can so that I can lead that good quality life. And spending years hating my body isn't going to get me there. And it's not going to, you know, you can't get back. You can't get back years. And I know that at, you know, looking at my gram, who now is, um, most times when we go there, she's laying in bed because her body's that sore because that uh, she has arthritis and she had a fall. Uh, lots, so, you know, looking at back, you know, I know, I know how she thinks. And, you know, she feels like her body's giving up on her now. But, you know, she would appreciate so much more what her body could do at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Compared, you know, what her body could do, in what her body could do at 80 to 88. She would appreciate all that, that things now. So let's stop hating our bodies. Let's stop hating ourselves and spending the, the time where your body can move really well, where it can do, do lots of things. And let's start really appreciating it. Appreciate for, for those things. You know, we, you'll get, because you'll get, and you may even look back now, and if you look back at photos and you think, oh God, I remember that time of day and I, that time in a photo and I thought I was fat then, you know, and, and you look at yourself now and you're like, I was actually beautiful, you know, or I was actually like, I wasn't that weight. Like, like let's st stop wasting that time because I guarantee you there's all, there's somebody that no matter what shape or size you are, there's somebody that 
you would be their ideal body shape size. You know, you would be. You know, we, we spend all this time focusing on things that maybe we can't change, things that are maybe genetic, things that are uh, out of our control. So let's focus on the things that are in your control and how your body moves and how your body feels is in your control. And that is something that you can do something about according to whatever works for you and whatever you want to do. And uh, if we can take one thing away is to come to this level of body acceptance and accept and and to to say over time that we you know to say that we love our bodies if, and if you can get to that point that's amazing but the point i want you to get to is just a, a point of acceptance and to stop the negative thoughts or the negative focus just just come to a point of acceptance and if we can accept where we're at we can accept this is how our body's at and stop focusing on maybe the things that we can't change uh you know you can then put your focus on something that's going to make you feel good, going to be good for your body and be good for you. That's my goal for every day. So I want you to think about, and if you can get your journals out or write that, what does accepting your body look like to you? So what does accepting your body look like to you? Accepting it. And, um, and I really want you to think about that and then get back to me because I would love to know what your thoughts are. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Elliot's PT podcast. I hope you have been able to find this information of use to you. If you know someone who might enjoy this podcast, please share it with them and ensure that you subscribe so you can be the first to know when new podcasts are released. If you have the time to leave a five-star review, that would be amazing and it would be greatly appreciated. If you do so, please screenshot and share onto any of our socials and tag us. Then email the screenshot to hello at elliotspt.com and we will send you a free gift to your inbox. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day. Speak soon.